some deltoids. Yep. Nice, buddy. What time did you get up? 6.30. Nice, dude. It's uh, 6.53 right now. So I get this text message from my son saying that he's working out at 6.30 in the morning before school. Right now they're getting ready for school. Um, let me show you kind of where this started. This right here. The question is, can I get on screens? And the, the answer is that, did you? And there's lists of things that they need to do here. And right here is, did you exercise? Um, and my son's chosen to do his 20 minutes of, of lifting weights. I'm not forcing my son to exercise every day, but I am setting rules and boundaries around his screen time. He decided he wanted to have more time after school to play with his friend. And so in order to do that, he realized that he'd need to wake up a little bit earlier and exercise in the morning. And also that he would need to keep his room clean. You see, we have all of their screens locked away, and if they want access to any of them, they need to come ask us, and we'll go through the list together. And they're not getting their screens until the list is done. So my kids have their chores done, their rooms are clean, they've exercised, they've done their laundry. Screen use is associated with increases in depression and anxiety in teens. We should not be giving our kids unlimited access to screens. Just as you would regulate the amount of candy and sugar that they ate, hopefully, you should also be regulating the amount of screen time that they have. Just as you would hopefully have your kids eat dinner before they had their dessert, you should probably be having them do something positive, like get their homework done and get their chores done and do their laundry and maybe spend some time exercising before they get on their screens. My son woke up early yesterday as well and exercised and he said, I had so much energy at school. I felt so much better. This morning, he had a big smile on his face. He felt better about himself. I had an opportunity to express how proud of him I was. It seems like we communicate a lot more things in text nowadays. Uh, <laughs> I think it's the time we live in. Babies need parents, and teenagers need parents. They need rules and guidance and boundaries trying to help your children develop some good habits. If you don't do it, nobody else is. And children and teenagers lack the foresight, the experience, the knowledge to make all these good decisions for themselves. Set up some rules, make them very clear for your kids, put them on the fridge, and, and allow the rules to be enforced.